Weighing in at about 6,000 pounds, this tiled replica of the sun wasn't here when Rob Kuleen was growing up. I like it. They even got the sunspots. It's part of Anchorage's Light Speed Planet Walk, a downtown attraction for visitors of all ages. Such a cool exhibit. This is really cool. But Rob admits he wouldn't have been this impressed back in the day. That changed during his undergrad studies in Denver when he did a research project on the space shuttle Columbia disaster of 2003. It claimed the lives of all seven crew members, a sobering introduction to the idea of space exploration, but one that called to his adventurous spirit. It made me think like, hey, space is kind of the next frontier, and I've always been into uh, exploration, and so it's kind of like from the last frontier to the next frontier is, is kind of the way I like to think about it. He graduated from Service High School in 2001 and now has several degrees, including a doctorate in engineering. And he's worked most recently for SpaceX, building rockets with the hope of one day joining NASA's team of astronauts and flying in one himself. It gave me a goal, something to work towards um, for a career. He's made it into NASA's top 50 candidates before, but didn't get in. This year, more than 18,000 people applied. NASA chose 12. Rob is one of them. How do you not <laughs> give up knowing it could never happen? You know, I guess it's what it's really about. It's, it's about the journey. Like, um, and I know that that probably sounds corny, right? But it really is about the journey and kind of the experiences you have along the way. And, you know, one of the pieces of advice we always tell someone who wants to become an astronaut is, don't become a pilot to become an astronaut. Don't learn scuba to become an astronaut. Don't learn Russian to become an astronaut. Like, do the things because you're interested in doing them and because they're fun, uh, not for this one thing. Our journey today is through Anchorage's model solar system. But one day he could be flying weightless through the real one, experiencing some of the sights he loves most about Alaska from a perspective the rest of us can only dream about. The sun rises, the sun sets, the northern, the aurora uh, just sound phenomenal. And the other planets that light our sky up close. He says Earth remains his favorite planet. We've never discovered life on another planet. And you think of all the life forms that we have here, it's phenomenal. He's still getting used to the attention the new job title brings him. But is happy to take a picture with an aspiring astronaut along the way. I think I learned a lot about myself by getting to know others. He believes that same idea translates to planets, a reason he's excited about the potential of exploring Mars. The more we get to know about areas like, like Mars or some of the other planets we've looked at today, um, then the more that we will also get to know about planet Earth and kind of how it works and maybe how we can keep it, uh, you know, a pleasant place to live for a very long time to come. It's something he hopes to be a part of as Rob Kuleen prepares to leave the planet we call home for the next great unknown. Daniela Rivera, KTVA 11 News.